The thing probably, when you think about golf, is even the best players in the world are only hitting 13 greens per round, so they're missing five greens. So when you look at the best players, it does come down to having a great short game and great putting. And the top players in the world, that's what they have. That's what makes them the top. But when they are playing practice rounds, such as today, we're out here on number 10 at Pebble Beach, you know, you have to take into consideration, don't always play where the pin is. You know, you may do that when you're playing for real, but when you're practicing, you got to create different shots. So, for example, this first ball here, I'm in the rough. I'm going to use a more lofted club. Club, probably my lob wedge which is a 60 bent to 59 so I can get the ball up because I don't have a lot of area for the ball to stop get the ball up in the air a little bit for a shorter shot I'm gonna use this club right now to this first ball the key on chipping once again it's not bad to have the good posture keep your weight a little on your left side a little bit stay on your left side and let the loft of the club pop the ball out and hopefully it'll run right down next to the hole once again, you can see how much slopes on the greens it pebbled. Now that ball kept on chasing. The key of pitching is make sure that you have smooth acceleration, Dave. Not quick acceleration, but smooth acceleration to where you're going to be able to pitch out like that. And acceleration for an amateur player, you've got obviously the Pacific and still water <laughs> behind you. You've got all kinds of trouble. Getting to get the club through the grass there is something that I think amateurs have a problem with. And also, I lay the face a little more open at a, at, at a dress, and I let the club use the bounce of the club underneath, similar to a bunker shot, so it elevates the ball up in the air a little bit more, so it lands a little bit softer. Now, when you mention that, I think the amateur starts to think bounce, They're skull. Gonna, right. So how do, how do well, you get that mindset out of their mind? Well, you would do that maybe more on a tight lie, because, but here in the rough, you have some grass and some sponge underneath it. So the club should just go right underneath the ball so it has some softness. The higher you get a little elevation, the softer you can land the ball. Now, how about if we're trying to go out? Yeah. Now, uh, I'm not sure if they can tell on the well, camera. It's just such a wicked move, right, left to right. You know, here, what I'd probably do, because the greens are still going to be fast, and there is still some rough here. If the rough was shorter, I might hit this with a pitching wedge or even a 9-iron or possibly an 8-iron. But because we still have some rough, I still need a little bit of loft, so I'm going to use my middle gap wedge, which is 54 degrees. I'm going to have somewhat of the same position. Play the ball on this shot because it's going to be a little lower trajectory, a little more in the middle of your stance. Your hand's a little further forward. And still, feel a little bit of acceleration. So the ball starts up there. You can see how much break there is. And boom. 